हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम एक ट्यूटोरियल देखने वाले हैं इस ट्यूटोरियल में एक्चुअली स्टैटिक स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस इन ए पी है एक्चुअली एक प्रिजमेटिक बार है दैट बार एक्चुअली दिस बार इज कनेक्टेड टू सपोर्ट्स एंड दैट बार इज एक्चुअली एक्सली लोडेड एट टू एंड एंड्स With the help of that F1 and F2 loads, and actually uh, after applying that F1 and F2 load, how much reaction will be get developed at that support to support to rigid supports we have to apply, and at that two to supports I we have to calculate the reaction forces. Okay, so ये इसके लिए हमें ANSYS FDL use करना है. एनसीस ए पी डी एल आई हैव इंस्टॉल इन विंडोज सेवन सर आई हैव टू गो मैकेनिकल ए पी डी एल एन आफ्टर ओपनिंग दैट एनसीस ए पी डी एल Actually, in that tutorial, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm to going to solve that problem with the help of that codes. With the help of codes, actually coding language use करके भी हम ये problem solve कर सकते हैं और with the help of APDL toolbars, also we can solve this problem. So, if you will see there that problem here. After opening that, here in that problem, uh, this is a intermediate actually um, a beam which is uh, supported by two ends. Actually, that uh, uh, this one end is fixed, second end is hinge, third end is also hinge, and fourth is uh, fixed. Okay. Now here in that prismatic bar, just axially loaded. so distances they have mentioned actually in that the material properties that uh, ens modulus they have given 30 into 10 raised to 6 actually that length of that bar is also given how much that length is uh, l10 10 inch and uh, ab ab is 0.3 and if we'll see that a and b That A and B distances is three three inch, and that this remaining distance is four inch. So this is the geometry, and they have also given the <coughs> material property for that purpose. So here now we can solve with the help of that toolbars also. But here, uh, if we'll see, um, actually in ANSYS APDL there are uh, three steps are there. Preprocessor, uh, second one will be the uh, uh, solution um, post-processor process, and uh, last one is the solution. So here, for uh, defining preprocessor steps, uh, we have to enter P R E F P P R P slash P R P seven. After um, After pasting that, that uh, PRP means preprocessor will be get initialized. Now here, next preprocessor step first we have to do, and then we have to initialize means which types of analysis we are going to do. We are here. This um, beam is a static bar. so we can do st static structure analysis this is actually beam is one type of structure so we can initialize the structure structure analysis for that purpose and sys analysis type analysis type ke liye shortcut hai a n t y p comma static then that analysis Uh, static structure analysis will be get initialized. After that, 
you can select the element which types of element we should have to use actually this bar is a um, 1d bar and uh, on that bar is uh, only the tensile type or compression type of load is coming so we can choose the uh, element uh, link 180 for that purpose for that purpose we have to uh, do coding et et means element type element type one we will give id one and the link one at zero after giving that we have to enter then the element type will be get initialized actually that link 180 requires the section so for that purpose i will give section set yp that is the coding for section type and the id number is already defined that is one then that id is link type of element so i will enter then that data section data is sec data we have to enter and id number is one set data so means yes ec means section data is one so next uh, they have already mentioned the material which should which material should have to take for that so material angs modulus they have given and they have not mentioned the poison's ratio so poison's ratio the ANSYS will by default take 0.3 for the steel material so here I will uh, define MPP for material properties. Material properties EX for uh, EX for Engs modulus. Then one for ID one and um, thirty E six means Engs modulus. Okay. So here we have defined the material also. Now here if we we'll see the this beam, this beam has uh, actually four nodes one two three four four nodes so now i will define the four nodes for that uh, beam for uh, that element so n n for node n for node comma one one for first number comma zero so here the first node will get defined next node second node n comma second node comma 0 comma 4 0 actually this this n for node n for node node number is 2 x x direction means that is not deflecting from the uh, 0 origin so 0 is ok then y axis that distance is 4 and z direction you can give zero also here yeah. so we have to define that we can define it next so here we can see the second node is reflecting here so next for node third node now third node node 3 comma mm, x axis there is no reflection so zero y y is seven and z has zero so third node will be get dip uh, reflected next till here we have defined the three nodes and fourth node is uh, n comma no n comma four comma node four comma actually x there is also no reflection in x direction y direction there is a y direction that distance is 10 and z direction 0 here the four nodes are generated here after that we can uh, join that node with the help of element so here here um, four uh, three elements are required 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 for that purpose here element here coding for um, element is e e 1 comma 2 uh, 1 to 2 element will be get joined e next 2 to 3 then e 3 to 4 then like that 3 element will get joined and here now in that beam if we see here the node 1 and node 4 is a fixed node so here for fixing 
that is command D one comma all comma zero comma zero comma four comma three means here node one and node four should have to um, apply uh, means that all three degree of freedom should be restricted and here we can see the restriction also now if we will see the beam in that beam there is a at point two and three node there is a force that is actually compressive type of force which is going from top to bottom and the value of that f1 and f2 is uh, actually that value of f1 is uh, 100 and uh, f3 f2 is uh, um, 1000 so here in few processor at f2 f2 i have to apply minus uh, 500 actually di direction of that force is downward so i have to apply a minus 500 so f comma 2 comma is f comma here also yeah, that will show the which values we, we have to give in coding f node second hai and then it will ask which direction which direction f y then it will ask you it will ask you uh, f2 direction and force how much force should be applied minus 500 so that force is applied here A red color shows the force how much force is applied and uh, actually direction also is shown by that here next here the third node is f3 comma fy comma here also the downward um, force applied in that i will give it okay now we have defined all the boundary conditions also now we can solve we can solve here also or we can solve the coding also now i will show you how to solve by that key so here current ls if all um, process we have done correctly we have done correctly then it will solve correct okay it has shown solution done okay now now we have to find out the how much reaction forces are generated here at r1 and r2 which should be shown here for that purpose we have to go into a general post processor and if we go here results list of results and here reaction solution reaction solution and apply why you can create all forces in y direction apply ok so here we will see the reaction forces at north 1 and 4 the reactions are generated at 1 and 4 ok we apply forces at 2 and 3 and reaction forces are 1 and 4 that is actually a 600 and 900 if you see the direction is also um, positive symbol is shown here so direction is also uh, direction is downward at 4 and at 1 also downward it's shown here okay means direction is opposite to that f1 and f2 f1 and f2 we have given negative symbol and r1 and r2 are positive if we do correct sign convention then our answer is also okay correct so in that way we can solve the problem by using coding also many there uh, many uh, people has been solved problem by using uh, command uh, like here but um, no one has solved problem uh, by using command prompt or by using command so you can also start to solve okay if you like this video uh, share it and subscribe this channel thank you